All right, peeps, we made it. Delaware Art Museum. This place is gonna be packed today. This is the second annual, right? So I was here last year for the first one. Check out that video. They have it at the museum here. This Delaware Art Museum does a lot of different community events. I really applaud them for their efforts. Um, I, it, there's two things that really impressed me about Delaware, the Wilmington area, the library, and the art museum. You talk about supporting the culture and the people and everything, they really do the thing. So we're gonna head on in, check it out. They got all kinds of things going on here. And for those wondering, I am using the Action 5 Pro today. So yeah, we're at the museum, we're gonna check it out. It's free, and they have a great crowd here today. They got some graffiti artists. They got all kinds of artists. The culture is here at the museum today. So I'm gonna give you all a look around so you can see what's going on here and everything. Uh, so is this the one responsible for this thing Yeah. And a lot of things happening at this. I'm, I mean, the main thing is to make sure culture's represented, people are represented. You know, I know there's art on the wall, but people mm -hmm. are art too as well. And I want to make sure that people captivate that. The main thing I also want to make sure that our people are also added to the archives. That's one of the main reasons why I do this. I want to make sure that our story is told. I want to make sure that we're never erased from history ever. And especially with hip hop culture too as well, as from our powwow, from my Dear Little Muertos event, from my Black Film Festival. It's all done purposely. Mm -hmm. I want us to make sure that when next time we, your children pick up their books and, and history books, you see our faces, our images, and I'm not talking about us as you know, as my, as me, but we as a people, mm -hmm. and that's the main objective. Because sometimes we get misinterpreted, especially when people want to tell our story. We're more than that, you know. And as an indigenous person, you know, I would have never known about my, you know, my my lineage, you know, coming from Peru. And if they taught us correctly from the Inca Empire, from the Quechua Nation, that's where I'm from. But coming here to the States, you know, sometimes get misinterpreted. You get told, you know, you're a farmer or you're just a janitor here. But there's more to us and there's more to people. And that's why, like, this is a beautiful way to express it and to teach the culture about people what more they are. You know, and that amongst, among us all, especially the Aboriginals, the indigenous people that we are. But obviously hip hop culture, among jazz, obviously, you know, the illustrations, something that people need to check out too as well that's going on all the way. But this is for the love and sacrifice, you know? But look, I love you guys, but I gotta keep the show going, okay? That's right, thank you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your service. Peace out. So what's up everybody? I am Grouchy Greg. I'm the founder of allhiphop.com and also the Hip Hop Cultural Summit that we have every year here at the Delaware Art Museum. And every year we try to introduce a localized angle to uh, the impact of hip hop culture and what hip hop has meant to the world. This year, we wanted to explain how the hip hop, how the turntable is one of the foundational elements of hip hop culture. And it just so happens that the turntable as we know it, the record player as we know it, was invented by a man who was born in Wilmington and raised in Dover, Delaware. And so uh, it, it's an incredible story in terms of how he invented it. He invented the, the governor so that the turntable would spin at an even 78 RPMs. From there, uh, you know, they start signing artists all around the world. The first black artist to ever be recorded, the first gospel group to ever be recorded, first jazz group, the first artist, uh, uh, Elvis Presley on the label for the first time, Sam Cooke, Harry Belafonte, Jelly Roll Morgan, uh, W.C. Handy. I mean, I, I could just keep going, literally. I mean, it's thousands of groundbreaking artists that were on this label that, um, was founded by a guy born in Wilmington and raised in Dover. Uh, and, you know, to think that the for the first time in history, the commercialization of sound is such a, uh, I mean, it's a huge deal. It's right up there with electricity, flying, uh, the automobile. Um, and to know that it was created uh, by a guy here in Delaware, uh, it's just a, an incredible thing. So I wanted to make sure that the local community really understood the gravity of having someone like that from here in this state 
um, so that there can be pride amongst the artists of all genres in knowing that, you know, it started here. You see this dog right here, Nipper, you know, this is known as the RCA, you know, this is an RCA, Radio Corporation of America, but this logo was originally the logo for the Victor Talking Machine Company, Victor Records, which became Victor RCA or RCA Victor. Um, and so, you know, even this world famous iconic logo, his name is Nipper, uh, you know, Delaware. Your This is the Dixieland Jam. This is the first. This is the, what we're listening to is the first ever recording of jazz music. Now, it's not the first time jazz was played. Jazz was invented by African Americans in New Orleans, but this is the first time, and this group is from New Orleans, the Dixieland Jazz Band, but this is the first time that jazz music was recorded, captured, and released in the history of man. And this ushered in the jazz age um, in American society. So now we're into the Roaring Twenties, the Flapper era, it uh, ushered in new forms of art and um, advertising, uh, women's rights, uh, women's liberation. It's all tied up in this machine right here that we're listening to. It's an incredible story. Thank you. Yo, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? So Flay, listen, first things first, man, I just want to applaud you for being sober. Now that's a big thing. And you celebrated that without a reflection. Can you tell people about how you got to that point and, and how long it's been? Because I'm, I'm, I'm glad to I'm glad to let every, you and everybody else know about this journey that I've been on. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine, I mean, uh, I'm 65 right now. Wow. Right? No doubt, no doubt, I'm 65 right now. And and today, today I'm celebrating four years. Yeah. Of, I'm going out And, 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 and God is good, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've, I've smoked for many years of my life. i drank for many years of my life. There was times when I even went through my, my drug thing coming up and everything, you know, and all of that. And God helped me overcome all of that. You know what I'm saying? So, so my thing is this, to a lot of people that's drinking and that's smoking that do want to stop, you can if you want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody make you put that bottle up to your mouth. Can't nobody make you put that cigarette up to your mouth. If you do, that was your choice. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has the power of choice and God gave us that power to be able to control the power of choice. A lot of us can't control that power of choice. You know, I was real weak at one point, and I couldn't hardly control my power of choice. But I got to the point to when I was just tired, man. And, I, and I've been watching some of my friends die, you know, like like when my boy Coolio passed away. That really, you know, that really woke me up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, that, that made me want to stop drinking and stop smoking. So I could be around for y'all. Y'all made me who I am. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be who I am. So I thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? I thank everybody in this room for all of the, the love that y'all ever gave me. Um, to all of the support that y'all ever gave me on reality. TV. <laughs> y'all blew VH1 up, man. You know, matter of fact, um, and it was all of you guys, too, that watched my show, that helped make my show what it was. So thank you all once again. I brought VH1 its most viewers ever in its history. 7.5 million viewers. And to this day, still, VH1 hasn't seen them, those numbers. My message is for the kids that's in school right now, today. You know, my thing is this. Why you in, why you here and you got the chance. Get your diploma now because you're gonna have a hard time going through life without it. Mm -hmm. Number one and number two, 
you might not make it back here like me to get it. Mm -hmm. So we okay. get it now. Right now. Right. I'm glad to let every, you and everybody else know about this journey that I've been on. You know what I'm saying? In the whole nine, I mean. Uh, we have a tribute from the governor of Delaware, John Carney. Flavor Flav, this is to thank you for being here on behalf of the governor. He's sorry he couldn't be here personally today, but he asked that I give this to you in honor of your participation. And we have one more. And we have one more that is declaring October 26th. All Hip Hop Day. And yo, check this out. Before we leave, before we leave, right? I just want everybody in the room, one time for your boy, one time, one time for your man. Everybody in here. I want y'all to scream this real loud, man. One time, let me everybody say, flavor, flavor, flavor. You know, activism within the culture, right? How hip hop activates us, how, how hip hop is a tool and a platform used to talk about the things that are going on in our day to day and our culture. Right, um, activism as a whole, and how hip hop has activated me growing up as a child, growing up into my early adult years today. Yeah. All right, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Yasser Arafat Payne. I am on faculty, or I'm a professor at the University of Delaware, and I must say, I am all hip hop. Definitely, uh, uh, uh. and I'm proud to say that I teach a course on um, gangster rap music and culture at the University of Delaware. Yeah. And we represent. At UD, we represent the fifth dimension of hip hop, knowledge. Mm. With that said, it is an honor to be with you today. And in fact, it is always a pleasure to have a robust discussion on hip hop and activism. And this afternoon, we have a set of truly talented and very outspoken panelists who will certainly bring some clarity to the role that hip hop should play with producing real social change. First up, we have Ms. Pam Africa. Ms. Africa is the head of the International Concerned Friends and Family of Mumia Abu Jamal, Philadelphia-based organization at the center of the international movement seeking Abu Jamal's immediate release. Right. About time. Next up, we have Councilman Dupre Kelly. City Council in the great city of Newark, New Jersey. Also, uh, 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 Councilman Kelly is the first platinum selling hip hop artist in the United States right. to win elected office. Oh, yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Also, he's an award winning community leader and activist who is on the board for the United Way of the Great Newark area. Newark Museum Advisory Board, as well as the After School All Stars Board. Next up, we have Mr. Hakeem Green. As a former New Jersey educator and former frontman of the True School Hip Hop Group, Channel Live. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Channel Live. That's hip hop royalty. Right, Hakeem Green has been a multi-dimensional force in the music industry for nearly three decades. Discovered by Karis One, his group Channel Live debuted in 1994 with their platinum single hip-hop anthem, Madism. Followed by the 
gold album, Station Identification. Currently, Hakeem is an artist, manager, A&R consultant, educator, lecturer, entrepreneur, and visionary. And last but not least, we have the wonderful Miss Chandra Pitts. She's the founder and CEO of the groundbreaking One Village Alliance. One Village Alliance is a nonprofit dedicated to uplift children and their families on a holistic journey toward excellence through education, entrepreneurship, and the arts. Audience, please join me in welcoming our illustrious panel. Now everybody welcome in, and let's get ready to have an exciting discussion about the music and culture that we all love. I agree with my fellow panelists. You know, I, I believe that that um, name dictates ownership, right? So who you are and what you are, if you're signing up for that, if you're putting, if you can put your signature to, the, to that, then you are the owner of those things, right? And you have to sign for a house, a car, and all of that type of stuff. They're asking for your signature because they're asking for you to show your ownership. I'm asking you to ask yourself, what have you signed up that pertain for, that pertains to hip hop? Are you signed up for the culture? Are you signed up for the movement? Or are you just listen to it? Are you signed up for how you're moving forward? Are you signed up for our ups, for our downs, our struggles when it comes to this now movement? Like Hakeem Green said, you know, being in the know, being in the now, that's hip. You know, being part of the movement, that's hot. Are you signed up for the hop? Are you signed up for the now? If you can answer yes to that, then you are an owner of hip hop. Great, great. So the power of hip hop has to stand up for those who stood up for us first and foremost. Man, that's right. Yeah. Just Flavor Flav showing up. These are all the different people involved in it and everything. I'm not that familiar with the celebration. Uh, there, I know there's been a couple of different movies that talk about it and different things. So, eh. but there you go. I mean, how cool is this? Then an art museum would actually be involved in some cultural art. So one of the other parts that I think gets misconstrued about when we say hip hop culture, is that always people think, I don't know, well, maybe it's not true. But sometimes I, I get the feeling that some people think that it's always about force. And some, I mean, I've learned a lot about yoga, meditation, especially when you're break dancing. There's a certain amount of focus that you need for that. So this is a great place to, to, to exhibit all the different elements, you know, and how all the different cultures come together creating this hip hop culture. Gotcha. What's going on, y'all? This is Red Spade tuning in. I'm here at the uh, Delaware Museum, and we're here just, just to support the history of hip hop, just to support hip hop in general. So I'm here with my man Damon. He pulled me to the side, uh -huh. uh, family friend. So we definitely about to have a good time together, enjoy ourselves, and Enjoy the whole, enjoy what the whole event has to offer. And, and what, what do you go by? What's your artist name? What's your... I go by Red Spade. Red Spade, Red, okay. Red Spade, the, color, right. the color in the car, Red Spade. Red Spade, okay. So, and how can somebody look you up and, uh, you know, So find you. you can find me on all streaming platforms if you just type in Red Spade. You can find me on Instagram, Red Spade 302. You can find me on TikTok, The Real Red Spade. And um, you can follow me, or not follow, but you can keep track of me on my website, redspadeartist.com. Okay, all right, and um, how long you been doing this? I've been doing this since I was like 14. Okay, yeah, so. It's, it's been a while. It's so been it's, a while. Been a minute, been a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Okay. I've um, been doing this since I was like 14. I, I started producing 
I transitioned to writing and producing, then I transitioned to the business side of being an artist, uh, producer, songwriter, and now I have my own music production company. Okay, is that Red Spade Productions? Red Spade Music. Red Spade Music? Yeah, Red Spade Music. Okay, and I've seen you doing different shows around the area, doing some videos. For sure, for sure. Showing up on... Doing hey, a lot just... of traveling, a lot of traveling, showing up different places. Um, the most recent accomplishment was winning Beyond the Beat contest with T-Mobile and being handpicked by Common to come out and perform with them on stage. Oh, wow, wow, what an honor. That is sure, great. Sure. He had great things to say, I really appreciate that opportunity. That, that, that is just that is just wonderful so hey I'm not gonna hold you but thank you for your time and the positivity that you go out you know that you just show everybody including myself so no problem, man. keep doing what you're doing I'm loving okay. it Damon Abby Abby Damon so this is Abby hi hi, hi. How are you? I'm doing very well thank you Abby Abby Ebby knows everything that's going on no. in okay. the arts world and culture. Oh, I don't know about all Yes, that. yes. Ebby in the arts. Oh, Ebby yeah. in the arts. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. I like that. Seriously. I mean, you're with the Delaware Symphony I Orchestra. I work with the Delaware Symphony Orchestra. Okay. And I'm on the board of City Theater Company. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, more. I mean, I mean well, you, and you were cool. out at oh, There's my card. Oh, this very is cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we need the arts. The arts is important. Oh, and this is so great. Yeah. How, like, and this, this is a fantastic day. And the history we just oh learned about the music industry and in Delaware. Can I just, oh, can I just go I back in time and tell myself, hold on to the hip hop, because this is going to be art. Exactly. You know, like this yeah. is not just a flash in a pan or, a, you know, what were they calling it? a fad, Man, right? They used to call it a fad. It's a fad. It's not real art. It's not real. Yeah. Yeah, now look at it. I know. They got it wrong because it's it's one of the great artworks of, the, uh, of our generation. Homegrown. 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 The yeah. industry started here. Yeah. Uh, definitely. I, I mean, that's just it. It's like we would not have this if it were not We wouldn't have any Eldridge type of Johnson. music. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it was... Okay, so the first well, the first type recording. of music in the recorded form. Right. So but to, to, to learn that that first guy who sold what forty thousand records, he had to record every one of those forty thousand <laughs> records. Amazing. There was there, yeah. there was no oh in the vi oh yeah. he had to sit there and yell into that you know sing into exactly. that uh, the, that horn. horn. And, and it was and there was no electronics involved. There was no microphone, just singing right into the horn. Yeah. Wow. So pretty impressive. Definitely. What a great day. I yeah. Mean, more people need to come out here. I can't. Well, 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 we're sold out for today. Oh, it's sold out? Today? Yeah, no, oh, yeah. If, if you don't have your ticket, oh, if you don't wow. have your ticket, you're not well, getting in now. My tickets when I did. Yeah. yeah. Get in. Yeah, the word from last year got out. Yeah, that's great. Man. That's right here in our backyard of Wilmington. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said you could walk here. I walked here from my house. There you yeah. go. Which is great. Well, it was been a pleasure meeting you, and thank you. All right, take care. I think this pretty much sums it all up right here. Look at that. That was the second annual Hip Hop Summit. So much culture, so much energy. This was amazing. A, a, and to believe, A, I'm in Delaware, B, I'm at the art museum, and this is the type of things they're doing at this art museum. It's just strictly amazing. You had a hip hop contest where rappers were rapping about social issues, activists. You had the information about the first record players. It was all about the wax. You had a family break dancing contest. You had a graffiti contest, you had delicious food, you had a little bit of everything. There was even a little yoga and different things, meditation going on. A lot of different presentations. And I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure. And until next adventure, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you all soon.